Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to learn probability. Let's see what are the topics in this basic concepts. Cards, coins, dice, odds, marbles, and few more topics. Let us start with the basics first. What is probability? If I ask this question, most of you will answer chances of something happening. That's a basic understanding. But what's the formula for this? The formula is favorable events divide by total number of events. Now, what do I mean by favorable? To make you understand this, I'm going to take one example here. They're asking the probability of getting even number. And because they're asking probability of getting even number, even number itself became the favorable number of events. And what is total here? See. We have created three digit numbers, isn't it? So all the three digit numbers are going to be the total number of events. So we will calculate by using permutation combination, favorable events, all the three digit numbers, which is going to be 52, and uh, total events, all the three digit number, which is going to be 100. So when you divide, you're going to, going to get the answer 52 by 100. So if you know the permutation combination, you can easily calculate this. In fact, most of the problems in probability can be calculated by using permutation combination. Okay. But there are some cases which we have not discussed in permutation combination. Cases like coins, dice. But before starting that, some basic points. What is mutually exclusive events? If I talk about two events, let's say uh, in, in a dice, event number one is getting the output one and two. Another event is getting output four or six is there anything common between these two you'll see there's nothing common between them isn't it because there's nothing common or you can say the intersection is zero there's nothing common between these two events these two events will be called mutually exclusive events the mathematical direction of mutually exclusive event is probability of even intersection e2 is equal to zero. Second one exhaustive event now, what is exhaustive event? Event number one, I've taken the example. The chance of getting two or three or five, this is the event, first event. Event number two is one or four or six. If I combine E1 union E2, I'm getting one, two, three, four, five, and six. Doesn't it consider to become all the possible events? Is there anything else possible apart from this? There's nothing else possible. Only six possibilities are there, and all of them are already here. Which means, when I took union of E1, union E2, I've got all the possible events. Okay? Because I've got all the sample space, the whole sample space, these two events are together called exhaustive. That's what the word meaning of exhaustive is. It got over. Everything got over. Nothing else is remaining. So, E1, union E2 must become the total sample space, the whole sample space. And the mathematical direction of this is probability of E1 union E2 is equal to 1. Next one, complementary events. Now, what is complementary? You can take one example. A is, let's say, 1, 2. B is 3, 4. Now, these two are mutually exclusive. But are they exhaustive? No. These two are exclusive but not exhaustive. Second one, let's say A is 1, 2, 3, and B is one, 3, 4, 5, 6. When I combine them together, they become 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which means they are exhaustive. They constitute to become the whole sample space. They're exhaustive. But are they exclusive? No, because 3 is common. But if I take A is equal to 1, 2, 3, and B is equal to 4, 5, 6, they are mutually exclusive and they are exhaustive also. So when some events are mutually exclusive and exhaustive both, that event will become complementary event. Okay? And the mathematical direction of that is if an event is complementary, probability of A intersection B is 0 and also A union B is 1. Okay? And from that you can get PH plus PT is equal to 1. Next one. Equally likely events. For example, the probability of getting a head or a tail. Both of them are 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 50%, 50%. 50%. 
these two are equally likely when the chances of happening is equal the events are called equally likely last one is independent events two events which are independent of each other for example probability of being a himesh a singer and second one probability of getting himesh an actor he might be a good singer but bad actor or he might be a good bad, good actor bad singer they are in, not interrelated so these two events are independent events that's all in this video we'll continue the next part of probability in the next video thank you so much